so I want to do this. So uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez is really freaking people out. And I'm so happy about it. I'm so I kind of, you know, you got to you cross your fingers like, oh, she, I hope she can. And it seems like she's doing it. She's really, really upsetting the status quo as far with her ideas. She's scaring. She's scaring them. She's scaring her ideas to upset the status quo. Uh, you know, because they're popular, her ideas, like 70% tax on your 10th million dollar. Everybody seems to be for that. So she, so this is what's great. First of all, she, nobody talks about this. She went out with Anderson Cooper. And here's the part. I, I thought this was uh, kind of interesting. Let's see if we got this. You're talking about zero carbon emissions, no use of fossil fuels within 12 years. That is the goal. It's ambitious. And how is that possible? You're talking about everybody having to drive an electric car. So that's the newsman going, how is that even possible? What are you talking about? Because that sounds crazy. The thing that we absolutely have to do if we want to stop climate change, uh, cat the catastrophic, we can't stop climate change, to stop the catastrophic effects of climate change, which, by the way, it's already too late. There's already catastrophic effects. So this is just the more worse catastrophic effects we're trying to stop. Didn't Wolf Blitzer so, do that same thing to Rand Paul? And he pushed back about, about no, military but, but, jobs? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. About selling arms to Saudi Arabia. And Wolf Blitzer was like, yeah, it's going to cause us a lot of jobs if we stop selling arms to Saudi Arabia, right? So it's like, so the newsman, uh, it, it, it's not, he's not playing devil's advocate. He's playing uh, it, devil's idiot, right? <laughs> that, that's what this is. He's like, what? How are you? You can't. What are you? How are you? Instead of going, I know this is going to be an, an enormous undertaking that we have to do. How can we convince people? Like, that's a totally different question than what he just said. Well, I want to play it again for you. And you tell me, Ron, what do you think? You're talking about zero carbon emissions, no use of fossil fuels within 12 years. That is the goal. It's ambitious. And how is that possible? You're talking about everybody having to drive an electric car. <laughs> how is that? Wait, I mean, are you gonna, everybody's going to drive an electric car in 12 years. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe. I can afford multiple electric cars, but I've heard there's poor well, people. I've read about it. I, not from my outlet, but other places. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe, maybe Andy, maybe everybody will ha drive electric. Yeah, or you know, or we just let the cl climate kill everybody. But we, I'd rather let the climate kill everybody. Because <laughs> everybody's going to drive an electric car. I mean, that's so nobody made a big deal out of this part of the interview that's to me that that just reveals anderson cooper to be a status quo or 100 percent. he's a chuck todd all the way too everyone's gonna drive an electric car that's what's the alternative no one gets to live here anymore well tomato yeah. tomato i don't know so here we go it's going to require a lot of rapid change that we don't even conceive as possible right now what is the problem with trying to push our technological capacities to the furthest extent possible? This would require the raising taxes. There's an. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> no, I'm. Come on, am I? <laughs> You're on target. That's un that. That's the news guy. Yeah, but that's going to require raising. I mean, we're not going to be able to do it, right? I mean, the planet's going to die. Just why don't you just give up, you big thinker, you? Why don't you just? So do you need any more proof that Anderson Cooper is sponsored by fossil fuel companies in the military <laughs> industrial complex? Are you kidding me? That do you need any more? I mean, God damn it. This, uh, this interview sponsored by Exxon and the good people at Chevron, Chevron <laughs> making people go. Uh, uh, so what is Chevron's? Uh, I wonder what their tagline is. I bet they have one. So anyway, this is, uh, to me, this was the jaw-dropping part of the interview, <laughs> and no one's talking about this part. Let's see. Where, yeah, there, people are going to have to start paying their fair share in taxes. Do you have a specific on the tax rate? You know, you look at our tax rates back in the 60s, and when you have a progressive tax rate system, your tax rate, you know, let's say from zero to $75,000 may be 10% or 15%, et cetera. But once you get to like the tippy tops, uh, on your 10 millionth dollar, uh, sometimes you see tax rates as high as 60 or 70%. That doesn't mean all $10 million are taxed at an extremely high rate, but it means that as you climb up this ladder, you should be contributing more. What you are talking about, just big picture. 
Yeah, so, the only reason she has to give that disclaimer is because it's been misreported oh, continually on purpose. Yes. Like, it, on purpose. Yes, it, on purpose. Uh, so there, that's the thing that's got everybody's hair on fire. That's the thing that made the Starbucks CEO decide to run for president. That's the thing. I mean, that's got people going nuts. And Ron is right. They are mis... Let's see what Anderson says back to that. By there way. is a radical agenda compared to the way politics is done right now. <laughs> That's a, uh, it's going to be a radical agenda. <laughs> like Rome is burning and he's like, hey, that's a little more violin. <laughs> right? I You're going to use all that water to try to put the fire like out? The fire? I, I might want to drink some. <laughs> I, I want to go swimming What later. if we want to have boat races? Isn't some of that going to go in my hot tub? I mean, what are people going to do? No hot tub, but the city gets to stay put? That's weird. I mean, I got us to God. And <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you know well, Oh, sorry. Yeah, go I ahead. I think that it... What's up? You know what uh, Chevron's slogan is? No. It is finding newer, cleaner ways to power the world. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> this interview of progressive maniac Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez <laughs> brought to you by Chevron, bringing cleaner ways to power the future. <laughs> Without using a windmill. What's the cleaner way? Windmill? <laughs> Solar? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shutting up the cleanest ways to power the future. <laughs> Chevron. Only has ever been radicals that have changed this country. Abraham Lincoln made the radical decision to sign the, the Emancipation Proclamation. Franklin Delano Roosevelt made the radical decision to embark on establishing programs like Social Security. That is radical. Do you call yourself a radical? Yeah, you know, if that's what radical means, call me a radical. There you go. If that's what radical means, call me a radical. That's what I say. I, I, I couldn't. I'm a radical because I wouldn't support the two-party system. That makes me a radical. <laughs> I wear Doc Martens. I didn't think I was radical. Um, so then, of course, Steve Scalise. Uh, Republicans, let Americans keep more of their own hard-earned money. Democrats, take away 70% of your income and give that leftist fantasy. Give it to leftist fantasy programs. Fantasy programs, you know, like Medicare. <laughs> And Social Security, of course, this is what you're talking about, Ron. You're talking about people misrepresenting what she meant. Of course, she explained it perfectly. You don't. So if you make one hundred thousand dollars, you're not taxed at 70 percent. If you make fifty thousand dollars, you're not taxed at 70 percent. If if you if you make ten million dollars, the first nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand are taxed at a regular rate. It's that tenth million dollar that gets taxed at 70 percent. So that's a tough idea. Uh, for people to understand, I saw I saw a a, uh, a Facebook chat where they were talking about it, and they were saying like seventy percent, blah blah blah, and someone explained it like, no, it's at the tenth millionth dollar. Like, yes. don't you guys get it? And then someone underneath was like, I still think it's ridiculous. And they're like, really? Why? And like, why are you concerned about that? And he's like, well, you can be concerned about something that doesn't affect you personally. And then someone underneath says, how charitable of you? Yes. Wow. <laughs> it was a great threat. Yes. <laughs> So she comes back. You're the GOP minority whip, Steve Scalise. How do you not know how marginal tax rates work? So that's the thing. People don't understand it. Republicans know people don't understand it. So they use their ignorance against them. Steve Scalise knows how it works. Yes, he does. He knows how it works. So do the people at Fox News and right. CNN. And because they all make a lot of money. Yes. So they know how much they, they know how marginal tax rates work. So, uh, oh, that's right. Almost forgot. The GOP works for the corporate CEOs, showering themselves in multi-million dollar bonuses, not the actual working people whose wages and health care they're ripping off for profit. So uh, I think that would be a win for her. She got uh, 164,000 likes and uh, 34,000 retweets. And then Steve Scalise, uh, I, you know what? I should have put that tweet up. But he, he tweeted um, the, he tweeted out uh, someone being mean to him in that thread. And said, I think we'll uh, we should we should continue this other place because it's getting too hostile here. No, you just got owned. <laughs> We're announcing our live dates for 2019. We're going to Chicago and Portland, Seattle, New York, all over the country. Go to Jimmy dot com for a link for all our tickets to all our shows. It'll be right underneath there, too.
Please become a patron if you like our content and help support the show. You can become a patron for $5 a month, and we give you hours of bonus material. And make sure you're subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I'm not kidding. Make sure you're subscribed and click that bell so they give you a notice when we drop a video. It's the only thing we can do to fight back against the bastards. Thanks for your support.